This is a piece of Makumagami. It's a Japanese metal consisting of three alloys, copper, brass and nickel. And we are going to turn it into an amazing ring. So the first thing we want to do after lining it all up is punch a hole straight through the middle using the center punch. Slowly apply the pressure and just let the tool do the work. You don't want to push too hard after you push it off center. Take our boring bar and slowly open up the internal diameter of the ring. What we're doing now is removing any tool marks from the inside of the ring and finally getting it down to the size we want. Once we get there, we will add a complete finish. Look at that finish on the inside. You can see the different colours of metals running through. The pattern that's slowly developing, but we will enhance that once we've got the ring finished. As you can see, we now have our ring blank mounted to a unimandrel with some soft charge attached so I don't have to worry about scratching the inside. So we'll be using this to do the shaping of the actual ring blank. Um, this is a doming tool. Um, it's quite unique the fact that it can actually do domes, it can also do concave channels as well. Um, just adjust this bit on here, moving it forwards and backwards and that will alter what we do with it. As you can see we've got the cutting tool into place, it just skips both edges of the ring blank. So once we start moving that forward, we can do this with it, that gives a nice even dome finish. See that ring now has a very nice prominent dome shape to it. So what we're going to do now is tidy up the top of the ring and get it all polished and ready to drop in the acid. And hold. So first we're going to start off with some heavy gauge sandpaper, just to revolve the tool markings and bring the ring down a bit more still. Look at the finish on that ring, you can even see me in the reflection. So this is a jar of ferric chloride, so we're going to drop this in for a few seconds. So that's the ring after about 30 seconds, as you can see all the shine's gone, but that's not to worry about that. We're expecting that, but the edge isn't as deep as I'd like it, so we are actually going to leave that in there for probably about 15 minutes, and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, we've now taken the ring out of the acid. We've sadly lost all the polish, but we will bring that back. And you can see the pattern is now raised to give us all those contrasting colours. So, let's go polish the hell out of it. So we're just currently using some green polishing compound. And we'll slowly work our way up to the actual metal polish. And it's finally been polished up to a nice shine again. You can see that pattern just sits absolutely amazingly on this ring. It's turned out better than I expected. I also love that it's mirrored. I think that is so cool that the pattern is mirrored on both sides. But yeah, that is the first Makumagame ring I have ever made. First off, an absolutely massive thank you if you guys made it to the end of the video. That was our first Makumagame ring and it fits me perfectly, so I think I'll be keeping that. It's strange how that happens. It seems to happen quite regularly. But no, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe and fingers crossed, I will see you next time.